Hello, everyone. Good evening. Oh, hold on. I gotta raise myself up. Not very strong. Oh, wrong one. Hold on. Fish. Where am I? Let's see here. Hold on. I gotta move myself around a little bit. Right about there. Let's fix that. Look at that. How's that? Let's see. That will work. It's very bright and stuff in here. It's weird. Alright. I still don't like the way I look, though. I mean, I'm beautiful, but... I don't know. This will work. That light is right in my eyes, though. Whatever. Alright, so, good evening, everybody. Um... This. Okay. Um, this is my second pop up of the day. This is probably a record for me. Why am I doing it? Well, I have an extra day off today, um, in addition to my Sunday, Monday. And I had an extremely productive day, got a lot done, some stuff I want to tell you about. And on top of that, um, I had a lot of fun this morning on the pop. It was a good time. So thank you, everybody. So I figured, why not do it again? I was actually going to do it around two, but Rico did a pop up. Um, it's afternoon delight, which is always a good time, and it worked out perfectly because I was in the middle of a project, so it worked out perfect. And then um, I was going to do it at couple hours later, and then Lefty did his, and then cold water, so I figured I'd go now. Might not be that long, we'll see, depends on the chat, you know? It's all up to you guys. Let's say some hellos. Latoya is here, again, thank you, appreciate it. And TJ Autocross, welcome, thank you for being here. Diane's here again. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hello. Melvin, welcome. Glad you're here, buddy. Fish Dreams, hello. How are you? I hope you're doing well. All right. So, uh -oh. oh, crap. A fish question for me? What the heck is this? All right. I'm a shrimp keeper of failure. Eh, I don't know. But that means I have a spare of 10 gallon mop spawning killy recommendation I might find at the clutch. I like this question. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of killies there because Sarah uh, Sarah Walker, the current secretary of the AKA, is going to be there with a vendor booth. Um, She'll probably have Killies available. If you join, you'll probably get them for free. I don't know for sure what they'll be, but whatever they are, I recommend them. Um, have you had Killies before? I'm not sure about that. Um, if you've had them before, then a little more advanced. If it's a first for you, I would go with something basic. Um, Though, 
on the flip side of things, you're getting a mob spawner. Uh, never had killies. Okay. Um, so if your mob spawners are relatively easy, and it's either mob spawners or your annuals. Your non-annuals or annuals, basically. And your annuals are challenging, for sure. Some people say they're a piece of cake. I'm going to say no, they're challenging. Um, your, I'm sorry, I'm watching the flag fish and it's very entertaining and it's on my list of things to talk about tonight. Um, your non-annuals, everyone always says your first annual, to, your, your first non-annual to go with your first killifish should be the Fundalopanchex gardneri. There are a few different strains, strains, such as your P82s, your... Uh, massages, your gold massages, uh, what else? Your aquarium strain. Um, I'm missing one. There's another one that I've had before as well. They say those are your easiest. I actually have not found them to be the easiest. Um, but it all depends on what attention you give them and stuff like that. Uh, 3G6 here says, and welcome, by the way, uh, Golden Wonder. Uh, that is one I've never had. However, I have heard they are extremely easy, and you can actually get them at the pet store usually. Um, I believe they're called the Appalachius Lineatus, I believe is the scientific name for those. Um, your, I would say the easiest for me have been the Apiocene and Australis. Uh, they can be absolutely beautiful. There's numerous different strains. Um, the chocolates are nice. The Schwartz Flosses are nice. Your um, Goldens, your uh, Apiocemine, Gold Apiocemine Australians are really nice. Uh, the chocolate, I think I said that. Uh, they're all really nice. The new one that I just got uh, is the uh, sp uh, Spotless. Uh, at the gold after you've seen me in Australia. And it's beautiful. I really do like it. So I would go with an Apheocemian or a bundle of pan checks. They are your easier ones. Um, the other ones, the other non-annuals are a little bit more special, we'll call it. Um, you give Achilles the right parameters, the right setup. They're, they're not that picky. They're really not. One of my favorite, first one I ever kept as well, is the Fundalopanchex Sporenbergi. It's a slightly bigger killie. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, it's also on the, uh, it's not a care species yet, but it's it's on the, um, on the list. It's on its way to being one. And the interesting... Um, fact about the funnel of Panchex Spurenbergi is that they don't know where it's from. It does not have a location to. All they know is they know who got it. Um, or not, I'm sorry, not who got it. They know who found it in a delivery and um, that's about it. It's a pretty unique one. But yeah, I would say after you're seeing me in Australia or funnel of Panchex Gardneri, they're perfect uh, beginners, for sure. Okay. Good question. I like that. I got a question. All right. Fish Dreams, TJ Autocross Legacy. My Fish Tank Aquatics. Hello, sir. Welcome. Um, 3G. Hello to you. Zen Ginger is here. Welcome. What kind of trouble is Scotty getting us into today? It's all about the chat. It's all about the chat. Coro. There's Coro Works. Hello, and Oh, God. <clears throat> okay. Where's LJ? Oh, you tell me. You're her BFF. You're supposed to know these things. You guys have caulking parties together. You should know this. Um, and you're welcome. Absolutely. Keep me posted. I'm excited about that. 3G has a wonderful tip for you, though. Tight lids are required. Wired. For sure. Absolutely. 110%. And 
and you got that covered. Good job. All right. That would be a C A U L K Zen Jeeps. Okay. Um, yeah. So today, uh, since my last pop up this morning, um, as I explained in my pop up this morning, they're spawning. They're spawning over there. I like it. Oh, wait. They're getting a little aggressive. Easy, guys. Easy. Okay. Um, I went ahead and I did four loads of laundry. It was crazy. But I got four loads of laundry. Um, I actually do have a couple more to do. Maybe I'll do them on Sunday. But uh, so very productive with that. And I went to the pharmacy. I got gas. I got my lottery tickets. They're right there. And so tonight... I don't know what time it's at tonight. Um, I should check. That would be a good thing to know. But Mega Millions tonight. I'm going to be the big winner. 1.3 billion. I don't even care. Uh, I get a million. I'll be tickled. Pink. That's fine. Give me a million. Perfect. I don't need the big. I don't want that big, big, big prize. Just give me a million. That's enough for a fish room. Um, got my lottery tickets. Got gas. Went to the pharmacy. I even went on a fire call. It was a false alarm, but still, it's a nice one I get to on a fire call. Um, lately, with life and schedule and everything, I haven't made that many, so it was really good. Um, then I came home, and the Fundal of uh Oseri that I was showing in my stream this morning, it was time to find them a home in here. I reached out to some Killy friends, and um, the two and a half, so I already had the one female, and Mike B, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, I already had the one female. Alshon got me um, a pair, and so they are spawning different fish. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm sorry. I, I, they're right there. They're right there, and they're spawning, and the lights are on. It's a beautiful thing. Um, where was I? Oh, Osara. So, uh, I had the female. He got me a pair, so I now have a trio. And some Killy fans of mine um, said that the two and a half would be too small for the trio. Because they're a decent size already, and they're going to get bigger. Um, I've never kept this species before. So my option then was a 20. And they said, they don't really need a 20 either, though. They just need some more landscape, a bigger footprint than a 2.5. Um, not yet. Though they, there was some activity with them, but not yet. Um, and welcome, by the way. So, I'm looking, I'm sitting here looking, and I was like, okay, the 20 is too big, the 2.5 is too small, I don't really have anything in between. I have other 2.5s available, so I could put them in a home, but I wanted to put the trio together. And, the spawn is just being a jerk. Focus, focus, sorry. Um, and then I look, and way up there on the top shelf, I remember I have a five gallon tank with a 10 gallon footprint. Hi, Jennifer. It's all the way up there. Oh, crap, I got that sponge filter up there. <laughs> I can't even see up there unless I'm like leaning back like this. I gotta get that back down. Uh, um, and it, it's it been up there, and I always forget about it. Literally, I always forget about it. I had a uh, long time ago, had a shrimp colony in there, so I figured, okay, they don't need much attention, right? So I have them up there, and I um, don't need to do much to them, and they'll just be perfectly fine. And when I say, like, it's been a long time, like, it's been months since I've even touched that tank. And I was like, that's the perfect footprint for these Oseri. It's exactly what I need. 
but I don't want to put them up there because I'll forget about it. Amisa, hello, welcome. So I'm like, okay, where can I put this tank? And I'm looking all around. Welcome, Matt. It's been so long since you've streamed. I told you this morning in my stream I was going to do another one today. And here I am. I don't want to disappoint you. So I'm looking all around, and, like, people in this killifish group chat are like, okay, where uh, can you put it here? Can you put it here? And I'm like, okay, here, here's my layout, okay? My kitchen is tiny. My kitchen table has my brine shrimp hatcheries on it. Scared you know to welcome. So the kitchen's out of, out of the mix. The only place I could put it in there would be on the kitchen table, and it's already occupied. I have an end table right next to me, right next to my recliner here. Well, that has my computer. Okay, can't put the tank there. I have a snack table right here. Well, that has my printer. Can't put it there. I have a random folding table right in front of me. That has my keyboard and my TV, my monitor, and my whiteboard. Can't put it here. Okay, I have another kitchen table here in my living room. Well, it's covered with fish crap. Um, it's got my live foods. It has two shoe boxes for fry, killy fry. Um, there's no room on it. There's no room. And then, uh, okay, I have, an, I have another end table. I have an end table over here to the left of, of my second recliner. Well, that has my mini fridge for my live food cultures. All right, I have a microwave stand over there that already has two fish tanks on it. I have a three shelf rack that is loaded with uh, fish tanks. I have a three shelf husky rack. It has like 20 tanks on it. I have a TV stand over there. It's got my 30 gallon salt or 40, what's 46? No, that's the 46. That's a 30. It has my 30 gallon salt water tank on it. There's no freaking place for a tank in here. I can't, I can't, I, there's no room. I don't have spot to put an additional tank. So where am I going to put it? Then I, I start looking on my Husky rack here. And where I have a bunch of two and a half. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I had six two and a halfs on the second shelf, the middle shelf of um, the rack. I had six two and a halfs. In front of them, there's land. There's open land. And I was like, okay, how can I make this work so that I can put this five gallon with a ten gallon footprint right there and move these others? How can I do it? Um, so the one two and a half was empty except for some moss and the sponge filter. I was like, okay, and that, that was already in the front. Okay, that's an easy one. I can get rid of that one. And um, so I drained that out, cleaned it. I put that up on the top shelf. It's okay to forget about empty tanks. The sponge filter I put up there as well, and I forgot to bring it back down. <laughs> After the stream, I'll have to go get that. The So now I got a little bit of, even a little bit more of a footprint here. Definitely enough to, to put the tank, but it would be hiding all the two and a halfs in the back. Okay, so let me move a two and a half up, I'm thinking. Um, so the one two and a half is what I was trying to culture black worms in. They could be in there. I'm not positive they're not yet. I'm going to go look and check it out. Um, but I was like, okay, we can put a tank with fish in front of that. I don't need to see the tank that's used for culturing black worms. So I slid that one up. And sure enough, it's not perfect. There's a slight overhang. But on this husky rack, I can fit two two and a halfs long ways in front of each other and that's perfect um and i actually have another tank that it's pretty well established so i don't want to completely drain it but it's empty right now I, I always keep empties for fry so i don't need to see that one right now 
so I can do the same thing. So there we go. By doing those, two, moving those two, I now have two and a half with fish closer to the front that I can actually see from here, which I really like. And perfect spot for this new tank that was up there. I've never really been able to enjoy it. And so I brought it down. Stephen P., welcome. And it, I put some driftwood in there, some chala wood, some, let me think of the names. Is it Rickia? It's a Swasser tank. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, put a Swasser tang in there. Some water sprite floating, Java moss, and focus stemming, maybe? I think. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this tank, I love it. It's eye level for me. It's got a nice footprint. It's on the corner, it's on the end, so I can enjoy it from the front and the side. Um, and it's the perfect footprint for a trio of Fundo, Fundo Pancex Osra. So they are in there, and they are extremely active. And that male, I, obviously in a specimen container or the bag, he wasn't looking that beautiful. Now that he's in there with two females in a nice tank, he is looking good. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like it. It turned out pretty good. So that was one of my projects today. All right, let me just scroll up here. Just try to miss anyone. I think so. Just saw an adventure aquarium TV ad for Shark Summer. Yep. The uh, shark tooth fairy is swimming with the sharks. I was not in. I don't think at least. Uh, they uh, did not show anyone looking for a lost kid. Yep. Yep. Probably didn't want to have his imposing security supervisor on there <laughs> to distract the, the sharks. Yep. I'll be there tomorrow. I think I special rain tomorrow. I have a suspicion we'll probably be pretty freaking busy. They were busy today. I was getting the emails with the numbers, and uh, yeah. they did over 3,000 today. Okay. The other thing that I noticed today, and is continuing, the trio of, um, are they American flag fish? Flagfish or Florida flagfish? Are they both a thing or are they just a name used together? Um, anyway, what are the, these flagfish that I have, the trio, they're spawning. They are definitely spawning. Um, and the male is absolutely freaking beautiful. I'm, I'm sitting here watching them constantly. Um, this other female, now that I'm looking, she ain't looking too hot right now. She's still alive. I don't know if she's swimming like that on purpose. Might need to take her out. Hmm. Do they ever play in the bubbles? Yeah, that sucks. Well, the other two are uh, spawning. She's swimming, but she don't look so hot. She's a lot brighter now than the uh, the other female. That sucks. Now the male's chasing one of them. Is that the sick one? No, it's not. Yeah, I'll take that one out put it in one of the empty tanks. 
Mm, that sucks. Anyway, the other the other female and the male were definitely spawning earlier. So uh, I think I got a, a decent video of it. I'll be able to make a short out of it. But I was very excited for that. Other things that I did in here. Is that it? That might be it. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Um. Yeah, she ain't gonna make it. Um. That might be it. Let's see here. Same difference. Okay. I know I got the uh, scientific name. It's a uh, Jordanella Florida or Florida, I'm assuming. Did see that. All right. What else do I have? I uh, was doing some emailing today with the limo company that I'm trying to arrange for the clash. In what I have found for sure, at least with this company, and I say with this company because I'm going to reach out to a couple other companies and get quotes just to make sure that this is the best choice for us. This is the one that was recommended by the hotel. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the best choice. So I am going to reach out on Monday to um, find some other ones, just to get prices, make sure we're getting a good deal. Anyway, if we get four people that need a ride from the airport to the hotel at the same time, or can go at the same time, they would do the 12 passenger van, the minibus, and it would be cheaper than any other option. It'd be cheaper than an Uber. It would be cheaper than two people going in a sedan together, three people going in an SUV together, four people, and then it just gets cheaper and cheaper the more you get. If you go up to, uh, I think the most would be 12. So four, if you get four to 12 people in the bus together, that is your cheapest option, cheaper than Uber, taxi, or even this guy, his other vehicle options. That is the absolute cheapest option. Um, so that's my goal. Let's find groups of four. Um, I think there's people coming from too many different areas, diverse areas, that it's going to be hard to get more than four. I think four is a decent number. But... Like, if we do an early morning run, a late morning, um, an afternoon and an evening, maybe, or whatever. The biggest thing is we just need to coordinate it and find um, the cheapest option. And again, to help us coordinate that, please fill out the form. Uh, I believe it's on fishfam.link. Go to fishfam.link. Support fishfam.link while you're there. And uh, go to the transportation form, fill it out. Um, it goes to me, and uh, let's try and save you guys some money. I know there was a lot of people saying they needed, they were looking into, you know, different transportation options from the airport. But we need more people to fill it out. Do I have anything else to talk about? Chat has not said a word. Um, maybe this will be a quickie. I already see that. I wonder what happened to that female flagfish, though, because she was fine this morning. 
It's a shame. Zen is making dinner. What uh, what are you making? How do you like to set up killie tanks? That's my crap question. All right. Depending on the species. Um, either a two and a half, a five, or a ten. Very few of them need anything bigger than that. And um, I generally do a bare substrate. Uh, bare so bare bottom tank. Sorry. Um, I try to do a bare bottom tank and do uh, a lot of Java moss. Water Sprite and Java moss is really all they need. And a lot of killies, you'll get to colony breed in those types of situations, um, that, those type of setups. You can, you have enough drop moss in there, they will drop the eggs on the drop moss, and the, the eggs will hatch, the fry will survive um, in most situations. The other situation setup that I have is with gravel substrate and job boss and then I also use spawning mops so it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter if you really want to get into it there's certain species that there's other methods that work better um, with a lot of the fundal of checks specifically the blue glarus the uh, fundal of pancheck suggestati or the spore and bird eye under gravel filters you do an under gravel filter larger gravel substrate fill in drop in a bunch of peat moss the peat moss falls in between the gravel in the little void spaces the under gravel filter sucks it down a little bit as well and the fundal of pan checks will drop the eggs into the peat moss that's in the gravel. As soon as they hatch, they'll get sucked into the under gravel filter, come up the tubes, and get spit out at the top where you have a full water sprite. So the fry will grow up in the water sprite, and the parents are mid and lower uh, levels. So that's something that I've done. It's something I learned from older people, and it worked. Um, I did it with Spore and Bird Eye. I recently moved my Fundal of Panjax Amietti, uh, which is a care species, into a tank that I formerly had the Spore and Bird Eye in, in an attempt to do the same thing. So Water Sprite, full, fill it up at the top. Um, the longer those roots get, the better, and other options are perfectly fine. Definitely sponge filters. Um, you do a hang on the back, it leaves a spot open from the jump out. So that's all I run for them is sponge filters. All right, Zen's having breakfast for dinner. John, select pet, welcome. On checking into the class, does each person have to check themselves in, or can I, or can one person check themselves and someone they are with in? I don't know. It's a different question. Um, I don't have that answer. I don't know. If it's a special circumstance, if you let us know, I'm sure we can look into it. Jeff King, hello and welcome. Right. Atkins, welcome, buddy. Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. The uh, shirts are ordered, probably already in production. That's exciting. 
Um, these goodie bags are going to be awesome this year. Got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. All right. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. In between this morning and everything I talked about for the last half hour, <coughs> is everything I really want to update you on. Uh, I was just thinking if we drove the long drive and the other person said, Go check us in. I'm going to go lay down. Just thinking ahead. Oh, um, so for the clash itself, we're going to have the, uh, what's it called? The check-in table, the registration table is going to have a lot of, all right, that fish is still alive. It's swimming now. It's driving me nuts. It, does, it doesn't look well. I'm still going to put it in a quarantine. Um... The welcome table is going to be open for quite a bit. I forget the exact hours off the top of my head. Um, but, you know, when if they want to go take a nap and when they wake up, go check in. That's fine, too. Um, and generally speaking, there's usually not a line or anything. We put a couple people there. And we have a general idea when everyone's going to be checking in. Um, or a guess, I should say. Um, yeah. So, uh, it won't be an issue. But, in that situation, like, if you're all arriving together, um, yeah, I guess in that situation we could, but it's probably better if each person checks themselves in. Me. I'm not sure. I don't have that answer. All right, Zen, thank you for dropping the links. I do appreciate it. I just finished the first inside coat of paint. Gonna add bracing. Gonna finish bracing. Finish painting. Is that first stand? Okay, that's yep. That was my question too. What are you painting? Something. Maybe it was police. Uh, John, did you convince Mitch to come yet? Sounds like he's thinking about it. It would be awesome to get all you guys to come. Oh, I uh, actually maybe I'll share my screen. Okay. So this morning I shared about the camera that I got uh for free from work uh 65 gallon stand kind of tripped me out the only bracing is a quarter of which plywood and it's not even fully supported to the ground okay oh, excuse me. all right let me share my screen so i got this camera and i have no clue how to use it we're trying to get mitch been bugging tanner too yeah tanner would be awesome and um, oh, who was the other person I was thinking it would be really cool if he came from out that way? Um, uh, I forget his name. It will come to me eventually. So tell me your thoughts on this camera. Um, the numbers, like is it good for taking pictures of fish? Can I use it as like a streaming camera can i um i don't know tell me about it so here it is that is the model it's got all kinds of holes in it I haven't tried using them yet. Tech. There's all kinds of text here. I'll leave it up for a second. Yeah, Jeff, it, it looks a little too fancy for me. Um. 
No, not Ben Hochart. It was, uh... Oh, what was his name? He was on the board and he just had to step down. Um, from Mitch's club. No, not Sean Peck. On Mitch's club, he was like a board of direct keeper king. Yep, that's it. It would be cool if he came as well. The other person is uh, Cassandra. She's from out your way, and she's a killing person. And live foods, two of my favorite things. All right, let's continue on with our research here. How do I get back? Okay. So it does all this stuff. I don't know how to get it to do all this stuff, but it does all that stuff. There's more stuff it does. Keep it up for a second. A half inch thick stand for a 125. That sounds just as scary. All right, let's go to the tech specs. I don't know what any of this means. Is it good? Fives, hello and welcome. That's right, John. You you are a killy person. That is right. Lurking and driving. Glad you're here, Vibes. Okay. So I'm assuming because it says movie that I can take a movie with it. Are these good ratings, though? Whatever. I don't need. There's just so many numbers. What does this mean? And then there's even more. What's that do? Oh, it makes it go away. Okay. And it did not come with any cords. Tomorrow, when I'm at, when I'm at work, I'll see if there's any cords it's supposed to have. Like, how do I plug it in? Do I have to charge it? It did come with a lens. This is boring. It's enough of this. Enough of this camera stuff. I'll have to, uh, I'll do some research tomorrow on it. Who are some good, uh, fish fam photo people? Some good camera people, though. Sounds like an experiment is needed for the next pop -up. I don't even know how to, um... I don't even know how to test it, though. Like, how do I get it to talk to the computer? So, like, if I were to use it as a webcam, how do I get it to communicate? There's no cord. So maybe it can't do that. Um, could I? So uh, what kind of cord do I use? Like, I, with my luck, like, I'll take a USB cord right here and plug it into the, the hole on that thing and fry the camera. That's how technology and I get along. Um, so, I don't know. It has an SD card, 
So like, okay, I take a picture, I take the SD card in, and I think that's what this hole is for on the computer. So I'll jam it in there, and I guess the pictures will pop up on my computer. But that doesn't help to use as a camera or as a webcam. Actually. I mean, you have to charge most things these days. Oh, Sandy. Um, Scotty, do you have any of Powell's eggs on the way yet? No. He had a, um, I think it was a family member pass away, and he has to travel for the funeral this weekend, I think he said. So he said, reach out next weekend. And I said, well, you got a lot going on. I'll give you two weeks. Um, but I do plan on reaching out for sure. And he is the person, he was the breeder of the um, Afio, the spotless Afio scene in Australia. And the female I got has a crooked uh, spine. So I'm going to get another, uh, probably get a trio from him as well. Said it was Wi-Fi enabled. If the computer has Wi-Fi, then you're golden. Really? So how does the Wi-Fi work on it? I guess I should find a um, an owner's manual. Wi-Fi compatibility. This camera's Wi-Fi compatibility capability using the Oola wireless mobile adapter. Do I have that? Can only be used with compatible iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, iPod, or smart devices running on the Android operational operating system. The wireless mobile utility app must be installed on the device before it can be used with this camera. So, is the mobile adapter a piece of hardware, or is it something inside of it that allows it to connect to phone or computer? This is confusing. The owner's manual would be good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um... What I miss had to restart. You missed a lot. You're gonna have to watch the replay. Um, actually, you didn't miss that much. Not much at all. Just me rambling on about crap. Owner's manual will be good. Five sets to run. See you, buddy. Late tell Scotty to start from the top. <laughs> Later, vibes. Cold water. Cold water. Welcome. It's nice seeing your chat, your stream. Beautiful, beautiful fish. For sure. Oh, so then it might only use Wi-Fi on certain devices. That certainly makes it harder. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I got, I got some research to do, I guess. But it, uh, so, it was yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. The guy gave it to me yesterday, like right before I was leaving for the day. And um, so I didn't get to like ask a bunch of questions. He showed me how to turn it on. It's about as far as we got because that was a challenge in itself. Sure. Yeah. All right. Owner's manual might be available on the internet. Well, let me check. With product forums or back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Nikon manual. Users manual. So it looks like this is an older camera. It's downloading something. 
There it is. Do people want to see this too? Okay. 384 pages. What the? 384 pages? Holy hell. I don't have a body cap. I don't have a rubber eye cup. I don't have an accessory shoe cover. What the heck? Holy hell. This is insane. Well, the first five pages are a waste. Didn't come with a strap. Oh, look. Is that the charger thingy? Look, that looks like a charger thingy. I need to get that. Okay. That's for the memory card. You turn it on. Focus and shoot. Yeah, that easy, right? It's that simple. Good grief. Yeah. There's not enough pictures here. Table of contents. Well, what the heck was the last 14 pages? This is insane. Like, I've been saying I want a fancy camera like this. I don't know it's going to be this difficult. Does this thing take better pictures than my phone? Oh, that's literally what LJ just said. And welcome. Latoya was wondering where you were. What's up with the delay? You should have been here in the very beginning, Laura. Okay. Huh. Warnings. Good grief. Did that say CD ROM? It says CD ROM. Do they even exist anymore? Oh, yeah. It looks. Is that us? I don't even think my uh, computer has CD-ROM in it. Notices. So basically, the first 20-some pages, 30-some pages are a waste. Introduction. There we go. We're getting somewhere now. Laura got one of those small lenses for the phone. Do you like it? I have one in my, uh, um, on my Amazon thingy. Brainstorming on the fish room. Now you're talking. You should do a live stream and get feedback from everybody and talk about all of your ideas. Get feedback. Does it have a video recording section? I'm getting there. That's probably on page 250. Almost all electronics will have YouTube reviews. That's a good idea. I can watch a YouTube video about it. That's a really good idea, Zen. Nathan Hovey, welcome. To read every word in it. <laughs> Jeff, that's not happening, buddy. I don't have the attention span for that. Well, I don't read books. All right. Now, this is just telling you how to read the introduction. There we go. Getting to know the camera. Let's zoom in on this bad boy because my eyes aren't that good either. There we go. Okay. Number one, 
is that thing there, release mode dial. I don't even know what this crap means. Let's keep going. All right, I learned how to use the power switch already. What is an aperture priority auto? I don't even know what this crap means. Oh. Right, this looks a little bit better with this. One photograph is taken each time the shutter release button is pressed. Makes sense. The camera takes photographs at a slow rate while the shutter release button is pressed. Interesting. The camera takes photographs at a fast rate while the shutter release button is pressed. Okay, so that one could be good for taking pictures a fish. This one is for taking selfies. Raise the mirror. What mirror? I didn't see a mirror on it. Oh, Lord, look at this. Good grief. We're skipping that. That's scary looking. Okay. The information display. AF area mode. AF means something different nowadays. I don't know what they're talking about. We'll skip that part too. Turning the monitor off. How do you turn it on? To clear shooting information from the monitor, press the info button or press the shutter release button halfway. Okay. Moving right along. Sorry, I should be checking on chat. How rude of me. Oh, pe people are talking too. Uh, okay. Here's where we left off. My kids have newer phones with three lenses. They are amazing. Yeah, this has three lenses. I don't know how to get them all to work. Way too advanced. I watch YouTube. Hi, Keith. I watch YouTube if I have to learn how to fix something. Yeah, it's a good idea. I looked into getting a camera with kids in sports. Not worth it. I took great video on my phone, and it's over. I have a GoPro 10 and had to and still have to watch YouTube how to use it. Yep. Isn't it true the iPhone with like four or five camera lenses that one is totally fake? I believe it because I can't figure out how to get them to work, you know? Um, now, speaking of pile of products, hello and welcome, sir. Thanks for joining us. Jeff was asking if I... Uh, Got any eggs from you yet? I told him I will be reaching out in a couple of weeks. My kids has three. One is for macro. I need steel. I need to steal. I think I figured out how to do that, but I didn't know it was a different lens. Um, I haven't even mastered my damn phone yet exactly. Geek Boy, welcome. 
who lets Scotty have a camera with more than one button? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, Geek, are you saying Scotty needs the equivalent of a jitterbug camera? What's a jitterbug camera? I can use my phone. It is easy. That's why I use it more, but my GoPro takes much better videos and pictures. Yeah, yeah. Um, go through the others, man. Let them moment. Five lenses on the new phone. I have no clue what does what, though. Exactly. I've seen a lot of about photos and not much about videos. All right. I'm getting back to it there, TJ Harcross. Here we go. It says it can do it. We just got to figure out where. Oh, there we go. Okay. A scene? Is that like a video scene? Is that what that means? Flash settings. The I button. Movie recording, see? But it doesn't say how to do it. That's just how you do the settings, I'm guessing. Maybe we're getting warmer. Charge the battery. Connect the AC power cable. They didn't give me one yet. I gotta remember to do that tomorrow. Hopefully they still have them and didn't throw them away. The lens is already attached. Basic setup. Now we're talking. It's already in English. Memory card's already in it. It's set on autofocus. Point and shoot photography. Auto. Ready for the camera. Photograph. Press the shutter release button. Okay, that seems simple enough. I can handle that. Okay. Yep, I can figure that out. I deleted some unwanted photographs that were on it. Scene modes. They have fish in here. Can you imagine if there's a killifish about to come up on the screen? That would be amazing. It's the wrong pet. The heck? Come on, show me a fish. 
show me a fish. Come on, what a ripoff. Let me catch up in chat. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Um, Jitterbug phones are the ones at the retirement facilities with just the number buttons. Okay. And send and end. Nothing else. That's not to confuse people. I like that idea. My niece has a new version of a Polaroid. Wow. Maybe a movie option on the mode button. Did you turn it on and play with it yet? Yeah, and it got scary. You want macro zoom up. Or zoom and fast shutter. So I want to complain how overseas 15 gallon standard tanks are so much nicer shape than our tanks. I've heard that. Um, Laura. You should check out Cuboid Aquarium. It's a drive for you, but um, maybe next time you're down for ACLC. And check it out, and you'll really like the tanks that he has. They may be ideal for setting up your uh, fish room. Hi, Myrtle. About time you showed up. We are uh, learning about my camera. Looking for the word video. Right now they're talking about how to do a million other things that mean absolutely nothing to them. It's extremely confusing. I'm not using it to take selfies. I don't know what mirror up mode is. Image recording options. doesn't seem like I don't think that's it darn it Using two cards. <sighs> Autofocus, I already have that turned on. That's enough. Let me catch up in chat. Okay, here we go. 
go. Um, let's go here. Makes me go everywhere. And I bet you know what I'm doing here, Zen. I don't know. The camera can film video. That's what it says. What's all this was? Oh. Um. Uh, scroll slower, I'm getting dizzy. Okay. This is ridiculous. Why do they have all these blank pages? Remote control it did come with a remote. Wireless remote control. Good grief. Bracketing. I don't even know what that means, so we'll skip it. <sighs> See, this is about as annoying as my car having all the damn buttons that it has. Stupid. Like, it doesn't even have a shifter anymore. It's got buttons to do that. And then when the shit breaks, you got to, like, disconnect the battery to reset it. I, I was literally broken down one time and stuck in drive because there is no shifter to put it in park. And the park button wasn't working. It's electronic. It's stupid. CPU, that's a computer. A GPS? What? Oh. Wait a second. what'd you send me? Myrtle, I don't know how you found that, but let's... Maybe you're trying to tell me in chat. Sorry. YouTube has a video talk all about taking video with that camera. I'll check that out. It's awesome. I call my son just took off. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay.
Alright, hold on. Let me reach. Okay. On. That's this one. Where's LV? Is it on? Did I hit the right? Thank you, Todd. Oh, LV. I don't think I took it on. Did I just take a picture? Am I on? There we go. Okay. So that's on. That's on LV. Okay, so that's off. That's on. There's the menu button. Movie settings, movie quality high, microphone is automatic. All right, that's cool. Oh, oh, oh. All right. And then I think I pressed the red button. And then I press that again. And how do I watch it? I think I did it. I think I took a video. That's really freaking confusing. Okay, let's turn it off. I'll have to watch some YouTube videos. Do we even know the camera works? Yes, it does. Yes. They, uh, they did use it. And showed like they took pictures of me and handed it to me. Okay. All right. Oh crap! I've been going over an hour. Is someone else going right now? Well, I'm still sharing my screen too. What the heck am I doing? Okay. There we go. Um, okay, so. Oh, what we got here? Oh, wow. Oh, that is pretty. Wow, it's amazing. 
tab. What's this? Oh, don't care about that. Don't care about that. This. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. What? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. We got here. Oh. Okay. Claude. Okay. Um, all right. Well, thank you everyone for your help. I think I have a basic understanding of it. And I'll watch the YouTube video and I'll search for some more as well. And um I think June's getting ready to go in five minutes. Maybe. Yep, according to the calendar. And then um, in an hour is uh, Streamy Mixed So see you there. All right, everyone. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all in a bit.